Hey everybody, today I wanna to show you the healing process of a tattoo day by day while using an adhesive bandage like Saniderm or Derm Shield or any of the other million brands that are out there. So in that way, you can kinda of know what to expect if you're, you've never used these before or if you're an artist and you've never put them on your client before. So usually what I'll do is the first day, right as soon as the tattoo is healed, I'll dry off the tattoo completely and then I'll put on the bandage. Most people, I only give one bandage, but if somebody has a dirty job to wear, I think it would be beneficial to give them a second bandage. I'll give them instructions on how to change it out and I'll give them a second bandage. That bandage could then stay on for four days, which will then give you a total of five days of protection for your tattoo. So right here is uh, the tattoo that I did on myself. This is actually from a video I did a couple weeks ago um, called Tattooing My Leg. I did a tattoo um, surrounding Breaking Bad, which is my favorite show. But either way, this is the tattoo, it's fresh. Uh, we still have to kind of finish it a little bit. Either way, um, this is right after the tattoo is done, I'm putting on Derm Shield to protect the tattoo. So this is really important to basically not stretch it at all. You can see I just laid it on my skin and then I'm just pushing it onto the skin where it wants to go. You don't wanna stretch it out because you don't wanna stretch uh, the skin. It, it is really sticky and it's going to stay on your skin and it can hurt you if you basically make your skin be in an awkward position that it doesn't want to be in. So as you can see, here it is um, and it's, it's clear. You can basically not even see that it's there. Now, this is the next Next day, um, this is 24 hours later, I'm trying to pull it off. I will sometimes pull it off like a command strip to where you're basically going parallel to your skin. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, other people will just basically rip it off like I am right here. So this hurts, it doesn't feel good, um, but it's not gonna damage your tattoo. It's just, you know, irritated. And there you are, there's your tattoo on uh, the other side of the derm shield and it looks awesome. Um, so a lot of the tattoos will weep a lot. That's just plasma and excess ink basically uh, right there in that line. But otherwise, there wasn't really very much weeping during this heal, uh, during the first 24 hours. As you can see, there wasn't really a puddle. And this is right after I've washed it in the shower. Um, after I dry it off, I like to fan it off like that to make sure that it's totally dry because these bandages, they stick to only dry skin really well. So like I said before, I'm just putting on the bandage. Now this bandage will stay on for five days like I mentioned earlier and it's clear. This one you shouldn't see as much weeping um, just because it already did its thing. This is uh, at the end of day two. You can see my skin is starting to look like an old woman's because it kind of wrinkles up a little bit as it's forming to your skin as you're moving around throughout the day. But you can see the redness is gone. It's not really sore. Um, it's just kind of like a little bit bruised. You can see it kind of has like a yellow tint to it. Um, so I skipped a couple days because, you know, between day two and day five, there's no really big difference. So now this is me taking off the bandage at the end of day five. Now you can kind of tell that I'm being a little bit more aggressive here just because it's not as sore, but at the same time, it is coming off of your skin like a Band-Aid. It does hurt, it is uncomfortable. But I mean, this is definitely easier on day five than it is on day one. But as you can see, there's not really much stuck to the bandage because nothing really leaked out as much because it was already pretty healed by the end of day one. Well, at least it was sealed up. The blood has clotted. Um, so there it is at the end of day five. It's basically dry and uh, it's almost pretty much healed. So skipping ahead now to day 12, uh, it's totally healed. You can see there's hair over it. Um, it is a little bit dry just because it's the winter, but I think that this product does a really great job, not just Derm Shield, just adhesive bandages in general. Uh, I think that it heals the tattoos blacker and then also for color, the colors stay brighter. It almost kind of preserves it to where um, if you were to just do a traditional healing method where you know you saran wrap it and then you take it off when you get home or however you would do it without these bandages, um, I feel like sometimes tattoos will tend to get irritated if you're rubbing them against your clothes during your work day or something like that and then it'll make it basically scab and take some of the ink out so to where these bandages basically just like preserve it under your skin and it's helping it 
heal the best that it possibly can. So either way, that's the healing process for these bandages. You don't have to do the second bandage. Like I said, the first bandage is usually enough, but for this spot, it was a little bit weird just because I didn't want my thick thighs rubbing together and hurting my tattoo. But either way, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope that you have a good day.